Right, hi everyone, Cubix FPV here. Going to try and convert this ESC to D shot. So apparently it's a well, it's a little little B BL Heli S 30 amp ESC. And apparently if you remove this little capacitor, I'll try and point with these tweezers. This one just here, it will work. So all my faith on the internet hopefully will pay off and we'll get this working. So I'm going to try and, uh, and, and remove this. I have no idea how to start. I'm going to start by stripping off the uh, heat shrink. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know whether to, to clip it with some side cutters or whether to go, uh, go down the solder and iron route. Anyway, doing it. It's part of my Armatan uh, Chameleon build. Um, we've got some of these the Umf motors and the Suki Edition frame with the pink, which I'm not convinced about the pink yet, especially with the orange. Um, but it might grow on me. If not, I might I might swap the pink out. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do the build video of this separately. Um, I'm just going to try and get one ESC working first, so we might have to faff around with the, the PDB, get that soldered up so I can get some power to this. Um, and then, yeah, let's see if it works. I've already put a uh, Beta Flight 3.1 on there. Uh, this is an X Racer uh, 303 board. Um, so, yeah, let's see how we get on. First job remove heat shrink. So apparently the three easiest ways to remove this little cap are you can either um, try and get in there with a knife. I don't think this knife's more like a bloody uh, sabre than a, than a little model knife. I might see if I've got a smaller blade. Or I've seen people say if you, if you cut it in the middle with, uh, with some snips and then peel it up you can sort of, you can remove it that way. Um, just going to have a closer look and see if I can decide on what I think is the best way. Smaller blade. Um, still not 100% convinced I can do this. I don't think. Uh, I don't think these clippers are really going to do the job. It's all a bit. All a little bit tight in there. Um, figure if I go in with a blade in between the two like that, um, I might just be able to tease it off. Um, I believe well, I've done it. We have a closer look. I just sort of tidied that up a bit. Um, looks like I've nicked the coating on the board. Hopefully that's not a big deal. Um, the uh, that cap is definitely gone. So we've got some work to do on the PDB. Um, I'll get all that sorted. Get this soldered up. Um, connected to the motor and the uh, the PDB. See if it's worked. 
No, I guess this boy is uh, going in the bin. Right, so after modding that ESC, um, I actually had to get quite a bit further than the build than, than I thought, <laughs> didn't really plan ahead, and um, ended up basically having to do everything. Uh, got one ESC on there, um, got the board set up for D-Shot 600, plugged the battery in, went to the motors tab to see what had happened, see if D-Shot had worked, and um, yeah, turned up the throttle, and nothing. So, <laughs> what I realised I hadn't done, the um, the firmware that comes with these ESCs, so certainly the ones that I've bought, um, obviously isn't up to date enough um, to, to support D-Shot, so uh, quickly realised that, and um, went ahead and uh, used this sort of BL, BL Heli configurator to, to flash the firmware uh, on the ESCs. Uh, well, just one primarily, just to test it, and uh, unfortunately that worked. So I ended up finishing off the rest of the build, doing all the other three ESCs with the same method of using that craft knife and just sort of gently, slowly sort of taking your time and, and working away. And it, they almost crumble actually in the end. Um, I've had another look at other people. I've seen people with soldering irons and, and things just sort of wipe, wiping the, the caps off quite easily. But my concern with these little bees is because they're sort of, it's all so close together that, you know, you could have quite easily end up wiping two or three things off at once. Or, or you could with my with my soldering skills anyway. So I just, I just felt that was the best, best method. Um, so, it, but it did work. Um, it does work. It's, um, it's, it's pretty silky smooth uh, in terms of the throttle response. So I'll just um, I'll plug it in now, um, just so you can see. So let's just plug that in. I'll just uh, connect up to that and be to flight and get a battery. Um, If I go to the motors tab and we'll do, we'll do this motor four. Probably don't pick that up very well on video, um, but it, you do seem to get quite a lot of response off, you know, really low throttle. That's only 10 24. Um, normally, I, you know, on, on multi shot, I've had, I've had twitching motors there, so on D shot, you definitely do seem to have a better sort of response. and Range through the throttle. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, flown it, uh, it flew really well. I don't think the throttle response with a D shot made that much difference to its flying characteristics, but it still needs tuning this thing. And um, I was having some other issues with black box and just trying to get my head around that and you know, having problems with that. So um, yeah, it, that mod. Seems to work perfectly well. I will uh, just try some screen capture software. Um, so I'll just um, follow up with this uh, with a video showing you how to install the uh, BL Heli configurator and, um, yeah, and how to uh, up, up flash, your, flash your ESCs. Uh, and then I'll show you the settings in, in Beta Flight as well. It's, it's, it's dead simple. So um, yeah, I'll, uh, that, that'll, that'll be coming up next. Right, so um, in terms of the settings for uh, beta flight, um, I'll just show you how I've got got mine set up. Um, so uh, if you uh, yeah, just go get get beta flight configurator installed from uh, the Chrome App Store. Um, this is what I've used to to, to flash the the board with the latest version. Uh, I've got on thirteen, uh, sorry, three point one three. Um, and then if you connect up to the board. And going to the configuration uh, tab, yeah, I've, dead easy. Each time they bring out a new version of uh, Beta Flight, things get more and more straightforward. So yeah, I've just literally picked D shot from this board, uh, from this, this drop down. It works, seems to work a treat. Uh, change the motor idle uh, throttle value, just drop that down a little bit. I think the default's 4.5 or 5, so just drop that down just so the motors fall up that little bit slower. And um, 
yeah, it all works really well. So, uh, yeah, I'll just move on to the um, BL Heli configurator settings and hopefully you'll find this, this useful, guys. If you use Chrome as a browser, you need to use Chrome for it to work because it's, uh, it's actually hosted on the, the Chrome App Store. So, um, yeah, if you, if you go to a um, new tab, search for Chrome App Store uh, and, and go into there and basically just search for PL Heli uh, config will probably do it and there you go that's this one, this nice purple thing so you should be able to just hit add uh, and then when, once you've launched it the first time I uh, add a shortcut down here to the, uh, to the taskbar just to make access, accessing it that a little bit easier so I've got, I've got my quad connected, my flight controller connected um, by the USB. I'm just going to put a battery in. And then now it should be as easy as just hitting, hitting connect. Hit read setup and there you go. So for these little, B, little Bs it's A-H-15 that you need. I think that's auto detected. Um, and yeah, I flashed this to the latest one, which is 16.6. Um, there is a button down at the bottom where you can flash them all in one go to save having to do them individually. Um, so yeah, if you if you hit flash all, select version. Um, like I said, I've got 16.6 on there, which seems to work quite well. Um, so yeah, you select that version and hit flash. Um, I'm not going to bother because uh, this mine are already done. So if you do the same. Uh, as me, the same mod as me, um, ensure you've got a supported flight controller. Uh, if you check out the, um, uh, the, the, sort of the BL Heli webpage on, on GitHub, there's, there's loads of advice and things there. That's how I've, I've learned how to do all this. So just following that, um, make sure you've got an ESC that's supported, and that you've got a um, flight controller that's supported, and find out which element it is you need to remove if they're not the, uh, the little bees. Um, and then you should be good to go. But uh, yeah, this video really was just, was just about the sort of the X racer and the um, the, the little B 30 amps. Um, just wanted to record me doing that. Hopefully, it's useful, and we should have the Armatan Chameleon build over the next few days. Cheers, guys. Bye.